Good morning, this is Sissy with stampinwithsissy.net. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to share my passion with you. Today I'll be showing you how to make this adorable Deck the Halls Christmas card. Not only is it beautiful, but it's very simple to make. Let's go over the supplies we're going to need to make this card. by going over the supplies. We're going to be using the Always Artichoke um, for the background and that's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. We have a very vanilla four by five and a quarter for the inside. We have a, another piece of very vanilla that is three and a quarter by five and a half for this part right here. We have some silver glimmer paper about four and a half by two and a half for the trees. Silver foil paper, five and a quarter by four, and a scrap of crumb cake that's about five by two and a half. The ink we'll be using is always artichoke. We'll be using the stamp set, Carols of Christmas, and also the thinlet dies that go along with that called Card Front Builders. This is an awesome thin thing because you can use it for all kinds of things. Any season, um, it's got this beautiful uh, border and a sky punch, some poinsettias, some uh, deer, trees, all kinds of things that are very versatile. So that's a great uh, value. If you buy both of them together, you save 10%. Also, the So Thin Lip Floral Die Cut. We'll be using the Regal enamels shapes um, and I'm sorry I used this it's not out yet but it, it will be coming out soon the new Stampin' Blends and I use the dark cherry cobbler and I think that's it so let's get started with the always artichoke I will be stamping the deck the halls part of the stamp set towards the top here Using my magnetic platform, my precision base plate for intricate dies, I'm going to my floral thinlet down with the crumb cake on top. Notice that I'm putting the cutting part facing up. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my trees with the cutting part on top. Put down my paper. And run it through. I put the cutting part on top because I've noticed that if I do it the other way, I'm cutting up my precision base plate. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to set this aside and run the brush along this cutout so that. All the little pieces come out nice and clean. And we're going to bring our big shot back in using the same recipe. I'm going to put my foil paper down. I'm going to get my border thinlet, paste it right where I want it. I always put some washi tape on the, the thinlets when you want to make sure that they don't move while you're cutting. Add the cutting plate and run it through. We're going to bring in our brush again and remove the paper from the border punch so that we'll get a nice clean cut. Can you see how the paper is stuck in the die? Love this tool. To 
line this up, you just want to make sure you can see through these holes. When you get it just right, you want to tape it down with your washi tape. And send it through again. this was a little plain behind the tree so I added a couple of holly stamps I also put a little holly in the corner here on the inside. I have a confession to make. I used my snail to adhere this foil sheet to my always artichoke before I used my Sizzix. So that is why I had to peel it off and you can see some always artichoke on the back. I'm going to just put a little thin line of this multi-purpose glue along the edges I'm going to set it a lot aside for a minute and let it just dry. I found that if you let it dry a little bit, it becomes tacky. And when you put it down on your paper, it doesn't smush all over everything and ruin your project. So while we're waiting for that to dry, let's adhere our beautiful little background here to the card. I'm going to fold it over first. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the glue. You can see I, I stamped my sentiment a little bit lower this time. I like it higher. Um, it's up to you. And let it get tacky. Carefully because this, once you put it down, it is down. You want to do your best to get it all aligned right away. Okay. Now I'm going to take my dark cherry cobbler and just go in between and color in these hollowed spaces in the words. Take my cherry cobbler enamel shapes, this one here, put one in each of these stars, they fit perfectly. I've got my foam dots. 
working on the back of these trees. I'm going to use the snow to for this part to the card base. I also added a few rhinestones because I love rhinestones to the centers of some of these flowers. Again, I use my piercing tool because it just makes it so much simpler. And I think I'll add another dot to the center of the holly. Using my snail around the edge of the card. And there you have it. I'm just getting started in the business, and it would really help me. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching. I hope I see you again. Bye now.